Mr. President, Madam High Commissioner, Sweden would like to thank His Excellency the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs for the open and positive approach of the Kingdom of Bahrain towards the UPR. Sweden shares the view of the Kingdom of Bahrain that the UPR should be a result-oriented process focused on achieving results on the ground. With this in mind, I will go straight to two issues in the form of specific questions to the delegation of Bahrain. These questions can, of course, be adopted as recommendations as well. Mr. President, Madam High Commissioner, His Excellency mentioned that the Constitution of Bahrain guarantees freedom of expression and freedom of the press. At the same time, the press law prohibits certain expressions of opinion, and prison sentences can be extended for some offenses against the law. Can the delegation of Bahrain elaborate on possible measures that the government of Bahrain is taking to ensure that the law is not being unduly restrictive in relation to the freedom of expression? His Excellency also mentioned that the Constitution of Bahrain stipulates freedom from discrimination on the basis of sex and guarantees the equality of women. At the same time, the Constitution stipulates consistency with Islamic canon law. Can the delegation of Bahrain elaborate on what measures the government of Bahrain foresees in ensuring the full equality of women in the courts, including with regard to family matters?